feel Jesus in the house. Jesus tells us that everything, everything that have breath, praise ye the Lord. You got breath this morning? Do more than praise the Lord. Amen. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Give the Lord a great big hand. If you have your Bibles, turn with me to very well-known scriptures. Let's all stand in the reading of the Word of God. You're not standing because of me. You're standing 
found in his word, Psalms 91, and we'll start with verse 1. Psalms 91. Psalms 91, verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge, my fortress, my God, and Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thy trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor the arrows that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh, verse 6, nor for the pestilence that walk in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thy eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou have made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy inhabitation. Because thou have made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy inhabitation. Let's pray. A precious Heavenly Father, we come to you. Lord, anoint me to bring forth thy word and rightly divide the word of truth. Lord, that everybody get their focus this morning. Don't lie their minds to wonder what they're going to do after service, what happened yesterday, what might happen tomorrow. But Lord, to get our focus on you this morning, to get into our hearts and our minds, and we ask it all in Jesus' name, and the church says, Amen. Amen. You may be seated if you can. Believe it or not, his word is true. Did you hear me? If I put a title on the message this morning would be, Believe it or not, his word is true. Come on. We're living in times that fear has gripped our nation has gripped our church. The amen, he said not to forsaken ourselves as similar as ourselves today as we see the amen the day approaching. And I'm not talking about when you're sick, you're sick, you can't come, but when you're well, you ought to come. Hello? Oh, we got quiet. I ain't started preaching good enough already. Amen. Believe it or not, his word is true. And you can take it from now to eternity. It'll never fail. And verse 1, he tells us, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the most shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty, to whom the promise is made, to those that abide in his presence, those that seek him on a daily basis. Why you see great fear in the house of God? Why fear overrides our faith is because we're not abiding like we should in the presence of God. I wish somebody would help me preach this morning. Uh, that glory to God don't get quiet on me. Clap your hands. Praise the Lord. Or say, oh me, oh my. He tells us in Psalms 15 verse 1 and 2. Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who shall dwell in the holy hill? He that walketh uprightly worketh righteousness and speaketh the truth in his heart. To whom the promise is made, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in him will I trust. Back to verse 1 again, abide under the shadow of the Almighty. In Psalms 119 and 114, that are my hiding place and uh, my shield, I hope in thy word. St. John 15, 
verse 4 through 7. Abide in me, and I in you, as a branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can you except you abide in me. St. John 15 and verse 5. I am the vine, you are the branches. He that abideth in me, I in him. The same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me you can do nothing. I, amen, man abideth not in me. He is cast forth as a branch and is withered. Men gather them and cast them into the fire and they are burned. That means hell. Amen. In verse 7, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will and it shall be done unto you. If there's ever a time that we need a relationship with God, it is a time we're living in now. Now, I'm going to tell you, church, I, amen, you say, you don't know what I'm going through. Amen, I might not, but I know a man who does. I know a man that can take care of everything. If we abide in him, he'll abide in us. His word is truth, and you can take it to the bank. You can take it, go to God at his word, and stand on it, amen. Come on, church, give the Lord a great big hand. St. John 12 verse 46. I am come a light unto the world that whosoever believeth on me should not abide in darkness. 1 John 4 and 15. Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwelleth in him and he in God. Amen. First John 3 and 24. And he that keepeth his commandments dwelleth in him. And he in him and hereby we know that he abides in us by the spirit which he has given us. Amen. We're living in a time. Amen. We better know who abides in us. Amen. It shouldn't be no guessing game. Amen. How can fear override the faith we have in God? Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Watch God undertake. Watch God move in your behalf. Believe on him and hold on to Jesus. Psalms 91 and verse 2, and I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge, my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. Your confession. In verse 2, what are you confessing? The psalmist here says, I will say of the Lord, I confess, He is my refuge. He in my fortress, my God in him, in him, in him will I trust, amen. <laughs> Proverbs chapter three and verse five through six. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not unto thy own understanding Verse 6, in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. And in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. Which way to go? How should I turn this way? Help me, Lord, I need your help. Amen, go to God, I'm sick in body. Oh, amen, my finances. Lord, my marriage, my children. Lord, acknowledge him in all your ways and he will direct your path. Come on, church. Proverbs 18 and verse 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs unto it and is safe. That's Proverbs 18 and verse 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth unto it and is safe. St. John 14 and verse 6. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man cometh unto the Father but by me. 
But John, St. John 15 and verse 5, he said, I am the vine and you are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me you cannot do nothing. I'm here to tell you, it ain't nobody like Jesus in the midnight hour. But joy shall come in the morning if you just hold on and keep abiding in him. Keep abiding in him, amen. Give the Lord a great big hand. Psalms 91 and verse three, surely he should deliver thee from the snares of the fowler. A fowler was a professional bird catcher. Which represents the devil. The first of the professional bird catcher would sew the eyelids of the birds together. So it was a man holler for help. And other birds would come to see if it could help them. And the bird catchers, uh, amen, the fowler would catch them. And see, that's how a lot of times the enemy are blind eyes. But you know what? Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. If God be for you, who in the world can be against you? Amen. Go to God. Believe it or not, his word is true. And you can take it to the bank. Amen. Every time. And know that he'll make a way where she must no way to be. Give the Lord a great big hand. Surely he should deliver thee from the snares of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Amen. The promise of deliverance in Psalms 91. You say that's Old Testament. I'm giving you New Testament scriptures too. It don't make no difference in from Genesis to Revelation. His word never changes. Did you hear me? Amen. It's good to stand on the day. The promise of deliverance. One more time, surely he should deliver thee from the snares of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Psalms 34 and verse 19. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Psalms 100, I mean, Psalms 18, verse 1 and 2. I will love thee, O Lord, in my strength. Verse 2, the Lord is my rock, my fortress, my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I, I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower who I can run to in a time of need. Oh, glory to God, you said the devil's give me a fit. Quit talking about the devil and begin to praise Jesus. Praise him in the morning. Praise him in the new time. Praise him when the sun is going down. Come on, church, give the Lord a great big hand. Oh, help us, Lord. Isaiah chapter 26 and verse 3 through 4. That will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusts in thee. Verse 4, trust ye in the Lord forever. For the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. He said, I can't keep up with you, preacher. We got a CD. They're making CDs. And amen, get you one out to service. Amen. Proverbs 15 and verse 29. The Lord is far, from, amen, from the wicked, but he heareth the prayers of the righteous. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10. 
He teaches us and tells us, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. When the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of God will let the standard against it. Oh, great is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Don't look down. It ain't no help down there. Look up where your redemption joy now. Where your help comes from. It comes from above. I wish somebody would help me preach this morning. My goodness, believe it or not, his word is true. And ain't nothing wrong with him. It's me and you. In verse four, in Psalms 91 and verse four, he shall cover thee with this, with the his feathers and under his wings shall thy trust his truth shall be thy shield and buckler. The promise of protection. In Psalms 57 and verse 1, Be merciful unto me, O God, be merciful unto me. For my soul trusts in thee, yea, in the saddle of thy wings will I make my refuge until these calamities be overpassed. Psalms 18 and verse 35, Thou hast also given me, give, give me the shield of thy salvation, and thy right hand hath holden me up, and thy gentleness hath made me great. Oh, ain't God good. Proverbs 4 and 4, He told me also, He said unto me, Let thy heart retain my words, Keep my commandments and live. Verse five, get wisdom, get understanding. Forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. Proverbs nine and 10, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. If there's ever time Amen, what has happened to the church? We don't fear God like we used to. Amen, go to God, we think, oh, he overlooked this, he overlooked that. Amen, he does not overlook our neglect towards him. How can we neglect so great of a salvation that he has given to you and me? You said, I've slowed down, Brother Prude. Amen, I'm here to tell you, you better pick up the pace. You better get back in the roll of things. Amen, in the name of Jesus because I'm here to tell you these promises are for me these promises are for you amen all you got to do is to believe that he is and he is a reward of them that digitally seek him I'm here to tell you I don't know about you I want to be rewarded by him because I digitally have saw him amen give the Lord a great big hand Somebody saying in their minds, he's preaching a fairy tale. I'm here to tell you, you better rebuke that devil in your mind and say, God, give me strength to believe. Give me strength to trust. Lord, let me hide under the wings. Lord, help me to run to the towers higher than me. Help me, my rock, my fortress, my strength, and my God in whom I trust. Come on, church. Give the Lord a great big hand. For some odd reason, we believe everybody else. And why in the world we have a problem believing God? Hello. Hello. In Isaiah 40 and verse 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Thank God good. I believe in Psalms 91 verse 5 and 6. They shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the errands that flash by day. No, for the pestilence that walketh in darkness. No, for the destruction that wastes at noonday. Amen. 
And verse 5 and 6, the promise of courage to encourage you, to strengthen you, to help you through your difficult times in this life. Amen. Whatever the pestilence it might be, whatever the disease or the sickness, God said, I'm the same yesterday, today, and forever. He said, if I can, amen, raise the dead up. He said, if I can open up the blinded eyes, open up deaf ears, amen, go to God, cast out unclean spirits, amen, what I did then, I can do right now. It ain't nothing. If you come and you get healed, it ain't me that done it. It was Almighty God that came down and met your need. He said, Brother Pruitt, just wait till you get John Hay. Brother Swaggered. Oh, Tim Hill. Amen. Go to God. Get these well known prayers. I know if they come, I'll be healed. I'm going to tell you there's somebody here greater than those men. And his name is Jesus. And he can heal you and set you free right now. Right now. Right now. He can heal you, deliver you, bless you like you've never been blessed before. Give the Lord a great big hand. Woo, somebody has really cut the heat on. My hair's wet. Ain't that something? I mean, that's getting good. The promise to encourage, to have courage in these times that we're living in. We're living in dark times, but amen. In the land of Gosha, it was dark in Egypt, but in the land of Gosha, the sun was still shining. Child of God, it might be dark all around, but thank God, thank God, thank God, I can see light. I can see his goodness, amen, working in my behalf. Come on. Jeremiah 42 and verse 11. Be not afraid of the king of Babylon of whom you are afraid. Be not afraid of him, saith the Lord, for I am with you to save you and to deliver you from his hands. Don't be afraid of cancer. Don't be afraid of heart disease. Don't be afraid whatever might come your way. Amen, go to God. But the Lord said, I am with you to save you, to deliver you from his hand. I'm here to tell you, whatever you're dealing with or you're facing this morning, God, God is well able to take care of you. Did you hear me? <laughs> Psalms 33 and verse 18 and 19. Behold, the eyes of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy. Verse 19, and to deliver thy soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. God is good. God is good. Believe it or not, His Word is true. From Genesis to Revelation, His Word is true. Oh, ain't God good? We know the stories in Mark and St. John too is the lunatic that that was in the cave. He was demon possessed. Two thousand some demons. The town people try to help him. But nobody could help him. Jesus said, let's go on the other side. And the devil tried to stop him and brush in a storm to stop him in their path. But Jesus rebuked the storm. And they went on the other side. Ain't God good? Don't you think he won't rebuke the storm that you're dealing with? Amen. To get to you. 
Amen. When Jesus stepped out on the shore, he comes out. Amen. Demon possessed man bound down. What do we have to do with the Son of the Most High God? Amen. He said, hold your peace and come out of him. But he said, what is your name? He said, our name is Legion, for we are many. A legion of soldiers back then was like 2,000. Where they get the legion was 2,000. Then the swine that, amen, was 2,000 swines that, amen, drowned, uh, amen, and went into the ocean and drowned. 2,000 some demons in one man. You said, God ain't able to take care of my need. God ain't able to do this. Maybe he did that yesterday, but he ain't gonna do it today. He is those that abide in him. He abide in them. Did you hear me? We cannot abide alone. Glory to God. Amen. He's the vine and we are the branches. Amen. He said, without me, you cannot do nothing. Amen. He rebuked those demon spirits to go into the swine and set that young man free when the town people came out and seen him he was clothed and in his right mind I'm here to tell you it ain't nothing too hard that God cannot do the devil can't stand it the devil don't like it but I'm here to tell you Jesus is just as real today as he was then and we just gotta believe that he's able to do what he says he's gonna do Come on, church. Set that young man free. Come on, honey, get a song ready. I'm not going to be able to finish the message, but. In St. John, we read a story about a woman coming to the well. And the Jews consider the Samaritans as, as dogs. But Jesus went that way. His disciples went off to get some food. <coughs> While he was sitting on the well, you know, he could have got his own water, but he didn't. <coughs> he was waiting on this lady, this woman to come by the well. He said, give me some water. She said, how is a Jew asking a Samaritan? He said, if you knew who I really was, you would ask me for the living water. She said, I guess you're a prophet. And I says, you've been married five times and the one you're with now ain't yours. Hmm. Jesus didn't condemn her and send her away. She accepted the Messiah, went back to town, and people came in and received the Lord as their Savior. Amen. Because come and see a man that told everything about me. Lord, ain't God good? He delivered that young man from 2,000 demons. And he delivered that woman at the well. Glory to God. Ain't God good? You said, you don't understand why I've been and what I've done. I'm here to tell you, we don't condemn sin. I mean, condone sin here. But glory to God, but I know a man that can forgive all the sin that you have, amen, done in your life. And you can leave here this morning clean and changed by the mighty hand of God. There's a heaven again in a hell to shine. It ain't nothing in hell for you. Amen. Let's all stand. The enemy will put in your mind that you're not worthy. Ain't none of us worthy. But Jesus makes us worthy. Is there anybody here lost or backslidden? I've lost 
lost my way, preacher. Come. I can't save you, but I can lead you to the one that can. And you can stay saved. The altar is open for anybody and everybody. Come. Stand in the gap for your loved one. When you move, God will move. God sees your sincerity. He knows you mean business.